Once upon a time, everyone made raw milk cheeses, but there's a handful of us left now. Cheese making has been in our family, oh, it must be for 60 years maybe, maybe longer. My grandma made Lancashire cheese all her life on a farm probably two, two or three miles away from here. You're taking milk straight from the cow, heating it to a very low temperature and, and making unpasteurized raw milk cheese. You're the last remaining unpasteurised Lancashire cheesemaker in existence. I am it. I am the last one. What's important about that? It's just it's just the flavour you get from a raw milk cheese. And if you pasteurise it, what does what do you do to to get that? Well, if you pasteurise it, you're heating the milk. Right. So you, you you know you're killing off some of the enzymes, some of the flavour of the milk. You're narrowing that flavour down. And this is what makes us a little bit different. You know, we've total control of what's going on out there from the cows right through for the milk into the cheese making process. If you look at, at the buildings and the setup, you know, the, the distance we move with milk is what, 20 metres? So that's from the cows straight into the vat? Yeah, from the milking parlour straight into the vat. Total control? Total control. So what's the process from the cow to get into the market for the customer? So it starts obviously with, with milking. So um, lads come in at six o'clock, uh, they start milking the cows. It takes about an hour and a half, two hours. Uh, then we pump this fantastic raw milk across into the cheese making vat where we'll, we'll then start heating it up. So you've got to warm the milk up. You'll add starchy, right. which is just like a natural yogurt, yep. then rennet. And then this sets the milk. So what you've got then is like a, a huge blancmange. You'll then cut that and by cutting set milk, that'll release the whey. And then from there, we then put it into the moulds. And then from the moulds, we put them on the old fashioned presses. And that's tightening them all up. And that's tightening yeah. them down. The following morning, the girls will come in uh, and the first job they do is they knock the cheese out of the moulds yeah, and then they add the muslin, the, the cheese cloths, yeah. taken through into the storeroom, a date put on them and then but what we do is then we put butter on the outside right. and, they, and again that's another very traditional old method. It's quite a small sort of hands-on operation then. Yeah we are, we're very small, you know, we're talking about we're milking 85 cows, um, we're, we're doing sort of 2,000 litres milk per day. So you compare that to a big dairy, you know, they're doing tens of thousands of litres. But, you know, but why? Why, why? Why don't you grow and get big and...? It's, it's not what we do. It's not what this family is about, you know. We want to... We strive, we want to produce the cheese the best we can. We want the best flavours. At the end of the day, it's all about what you put in your mouth. So what we're looking for is... That cheese to be really creamy, right, so it's broken, yeah. The texture, and a lot of them go like this with the nose, don't they? Yeah, get some... Um, Ooh! <laughs> yeah, for Are you sure that's all right? No, that's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> it should be really creamy, but yeah, still quite light. Ooh, an explosion of flavour, that is sublime. It sets off dead level, and then just in the middle, poof, it just goes. Mm.